But what I'm going to show you today is my recipe for the sidecar cocktail that I think makes an excellent balanced cocktail. We're going to start off using cognac. Uh, this is not necessarily an expensive cognac. Um, I wouldn't necessarily go try to find an expensive spirit to use in, in most cocktails because at a certain point in time where the amount of money you're putting into the spirit, you are decreasing the value by adding the other ingredients to it. Um, and so you better to take and drink a really expensive spirit straight rather than take it using a cocktail. So always take and try to balance that out as well. So to be four parts, we're going to use two ounces. Often when people see recipes that the recipe is listed in parts rather than ounces or milliliters or something like that, they get confused. They don't know how big a part is. And so anytime you see a recipe broken down into parts, all they're doing is trying to tell you the ratio of ingredients. And you can use anything for a part. You can use an ounce for a part. You can use a egg cup for a part. So if something says, you know, two parts to one part, you would do two egg cups to one egg cup. It's a simple measurement. So here's our two ounces or four parts of brandy. Then I use two parts of Cointreau, which would be one ounce. We then use one part of lemon juice, which will be half an ounce. Fresh squeezed always. And again, this is a case where measuring, I think, is extremely important because lemon juice is so vibrant in flavors, if you're just to get a quarter ounce off, you destroy the drink. I see people taking and saying, use a half a, juice of half a lemon. Well, juice of half a lemon can vary in a quarter of ounce. And there, so you shouldn't just take and slice a lemon and put it in. You should take and make sure you measure it all the time. That really bothers me when I see old recipes that simply call juice of half a orange, half a lemon, half a lime, or whatever, because we don't know how big lemons might have been back in those days. And we're going to add the ice. Now, since this drink included lemon juice, which is going to be cloudy by its nature, rather than stirring it, we're going to shake it. And so that just points out the fact that if any recipe has cloudy ingredients in it, which is going to be cream or lemon juice or a cloudy liqueur or something like that, go ahead and shake it. It's quicker to chill it down, uh, but it also will be cloudy just because the lemon juice is already going to be cloudy, so you don't have to worry about damaging the drink from a presentation standpoint. A lot of bartenders, when they shake a, a Boston shaker, they'll have specific patterns that they shake in. Um, they might take and shake in a figure eight fashion, or they might shake like this or shake like that. They have different patterns, and they think that their pattern actually works best for chilling it down. I'm not so sold on that myself. I think you can probably shake a cocktail all sorts of different ways. The important thing is making sure you shake it enough to chill it down. Now for a garnish on this drink, I'm just going to use a lemon twist. Um, the sidecar is one of those drinks you'll often see being served in what's called a sugar rimmed glass. They use a special glass rim. They'll, they'll dip the rim of the glass in lemon juice or lime juice or sugar water or something like that. And then they'll take and, and dip it into granulated sugar to get a nice little sugared rim on it. Um, that wasn't the way the drink was originally envisioned. Um, so I don't think it's necessary to add to it. And one of the problems I have with that is that if the glass is at all moist on the outside, the sugar is going to actually slide down the glass and get your fingers sticky. And I don't like, as a customer, having my fingers sticky as I'm mean, sitting in a bar and stuff like that. If you really want to take and do a sugar rim on your glasses, the best way to do it is to sugar rim the glasses way ahead of time and let the sugar solidify on the outside of the glass because it actually will form a harder crust 
as time goes on over a couple hours rather than taking and doing instantaneously and there's less likelihood of the sugar actually going down. Another aspect of, of rooming a glass, rather than just taking and sticking the, the glass into the sugar, what you'd want to do is take the glass, hold it over the sugar bowl, and take your spoon and dump the sugar over top of the outside. That way the sugar is on the outside edge of the glass rather than the inside, so it's not actually affecting the taste by sweetness. It's just allowing the customer to get that little extra hit of sweet when they drink it. So on to the lemon twist. You've already seen me do this repeatedly. So again, we're doing it over top of the glass itself. I'll do my little trick of turning it into a spring. Takes a little bit of extra time, but I think it works well. And I'll go ahead and wipe the outside of the glass with the lemon twist just to add that extra little hit. And there we have the sidecar cocktail.